All right, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to get Steam, Origin, or Uplay to recognize already installed games on your computer. Um, and I'm going to be doing Steam first, since most people have trouble with that, and um, it's the hardest. So I'm just going to be showing you that first. So everything online, I have to figure this out myself. Basically, everything online tells you to go to Steam and then Settings and then click on Steam library folders and then add whatever folder it is that your games are in. All right, so mine would be this. But as you can see, new Steam library folder must be empty. It's not gonna work. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna basically just have to add that folder there first. So go to your file, explorer, and go to um, wherever the games are. As you can see, my games are right here. Okay? So just go back to wherever the Steam Apps folder is. Okay? And we just we just snap this on the left side or the right side. Alright, and then you're gonna get another one. And you can snap this on the right side. Or the left side. I don't know my left or my right. Um basically what you're gonna do now is just go back to your so wherever your Steam apps folder is in, mine is in my games folder right here go to that folder. So I'm in my games folder right now. <clears throat> this is the games folder. Okay. It's in my D drive actually. So I'm in my games folder. My games folder is in the D drive right here. Okay. So just in this drive, make a folder, whatever, call it whatever you want. All right, mine is game temporary and open that up. Now drag everything from your games folder into the game temporary folder. Okay. And it might take a second because, you know, I have a couple games downloaded for Steam, you know, like 20 or something. So it might take a second. But now that this is downloaded in here, we're just going to minimize these both. Go back to Steam and do that again. Go to Settings, go to Downloads, go to Steam Library Folders, and then add the Games folder. Okay? So this one, all right? And you're not going to be able to expand it. It's got to be empty, which is what you want. Okay, so now it's actually added. And then you can make this your default if you want. Uh, or you probably should since where your downloads are. So just right click and make it your default folder. Now you can close this. You're all good now. So now open both of these files back up. You'll see that in your games folder you now have your Steam apps and your Steam DLL. So now just take everything and drag it back into your games folder. Right, it'll take a second again but now you can replace so you're just replacing the steam you know steam app and steam the empty steam apps folder in the steam dll so go ahead and replace that and now you're good all right so now if you go to your game library and pick something that is downloaded so i know for a fact i have papers please installed in my on my computer all right so now if you click install and it'll you know install in your game your correct games directory, go ahead and click next and now look what it says down here. It's gonna say discovering existing files. I don't know if you saw that. I just picked a really fast download just to show you it to get in this video. But it'll say um, discovering existing. So now finish it and now it's downloaded, okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a you know slightly longer download just to show you that it says it because you might not have seen it. So Grand Theft Auto Okay, it's going to say preparing, but then look what it says. It says discovering existing, all right? That's how you get Steam to discover existing files, existing downloads, um, so you don't have to re-download them again. It'll be much faster if you do it this way. So all of you who came here for Steam, that's how you do it. You play is a lot easier. I already did Apex Legends. What you're going to do is click on your game, right-click it, and click locate game, okay? then you're going to need to know your Steam, or not your Steam, your game directory. All right, wherever this game is already installed is where you're going to need to go to. So for me, it is right here. And you're just going to select that folder, and then it's going to verify the game files. And if all the game files are correct, it'll have a little check mark complete, just like Apex Legends does. All right, so that's starting. A lot, it's a lot easier than Steam. And um, Uplay is basically the same thing games you're going to click this little arrow down here and then you're going to click um 
Or no, you're just gonna click on the game, all right? And then you could, it says download, just just below it, it says locate installed game. So you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna just locate wherever that game is installed. My D drive, and then I believe it is, it's under my game downloads, I do believe. Ubisoft Game Launcher, and click OK. Oh, it's not there. This PC. Yeah, let's actually find it. It'll be easier. Game downloads. No, that's just where my okay. Oh, I'm stupid. It's very fun. Okay, <laughs> I just don't know where it is. It's under games, obviously. And then this one, not the test server. Just click on the actual you know, siege file, and it'll discover the files. So besides me not knowing where the game was, um, that's how you do it for Steam, for Origin, or for Uplay. That's all three. If you need to uninstall them for any reason and then find your already installed games, that is how you do it. So thank you all, and I hope I helped you.